Hello and welcome back. So today's video is a little bit, just a random one really, how to make a case for your camera. So I've recently got this camera, well I'd say since summer, um, haven't used it. It's a Nikon D7100. It's a really nice camera and obviously Christmas is around the corner and I want to take lovely photos of all the family. Haven't got a case for it and I forgot a case and there's going to be a lot of young kids where we're going over Christmas so I don't want to damage it. So hopefully I'll be using this in, in my future videos, doing some pictures and videos to so we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to make a quick case just to make sure it's, it's sturdy and safe so I don't drop it or damage this lovely camera. So here's the camera. It's a Nikon D7100. It's an absolutely lovely camera. I'm going to start using it to film some of my videos, um, but I'm don't want to damage it and I haven't got a case so I'm actually going to make a, like a pelican case so the things you're going to need which I'll show you is PVA glue which is good a knife and I have loads of this stuff that you can't all see on the camera I've got quite a bit of it from work where they threw it away and I've cut it into sheets like that so all I'm going to do is outlay this old lunchbox that I've got here. So I'm going to cut them up into squares, which I've already done. And then I'm going to now cut and layer it in here to put the camera. So I'm going to crack on with that. I'm not going to show you how to do most of that because it's quite, quite simple. Um, and it's very time consuming and slow cutting it all out. So let's crack on. There you go. Got my first sheet in. I've then cut out my second sheet, which goes in there like that, which I'm going to glue all these together as well. I'm just going to stick them in just like that, all the way around, there we go. So there's a nice hole for it. It's quite difficult to cut, but take your time and it will be all right. And basically it sits in there pretty nicely. So all I do is I push it in as you can see and then all I'm going to do with that is fold that up there to keep it out of the way and then this goes on top like that and then I can store it away in my wardrobe and my young kids if they get it out and knock it then it's not too much of a problem I'm not so worried about it getting damaged too much it's not going to obviously be dropped from a great height so and I've had to just push this out a little bit with some heat so it doesn't push too hard on the camera but as you can see it's proper sturdy and nice and tight and it's going to be airtight as well there you go just like that and for the batteries I'm going to cut slots in here for the batteries I think that is well worth doing if you haven't got a case and it's cost me nothing so i like it and uh hopefully it'll keep it somewhat protected and there we go it's in there it's nice and safe doesn't move doesn't rattle around doesn't get knocked doesn't get smashed waterproof airtight mostly for storage so when i store it in my wardrobe it's in this Nothing can happen. Kids can't pull it out if they drop it a fair distance. I'm not going to be too worried that it's going to get a smash. It'll still get a jolt. But there we go. And as you can see, it's nicely in there. To get it out, I'm just going to put it down so I don't pick up my camera. Put it out and voila. So yeah, hope you liked it. I hope everyone has a nice Christmas and New Year and I'm pretty sure I'll catch you soon. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and comment.